This morning, we lit the Advent candle of joy. So it's fitting that this morning's scripture passage echoes what it is to be people of Jesus Christ who know the way of joy. This piece of scripture that I'm going to read is one of the earliest writings in the Newer Testament. The Apostle Paul is writing words of encouragement to the church in Thessalonica. Some 20 years after the death of Jesus, Paul writes to a people living in the midst of a world that doesn't know what to make of these followers of the way of Jesus. He writes to tell them, these beleaguered ones, that being a people of Jesus means being a people who live, who believe in, and who embody love. Paul writes to people who are living challenged in the midst of life. And what he writes to them are exactly what we, you and I, in the reality of our own challenges in the midst of this life, Paul writes words that we need to hear. These words of encouragement, he tells them and he reminds us to remember God's promises he encourages them to remain hopeful and faithful and spiritful. So, on um, this morning, please take to your heart these words from the Apostle Paul from 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 24. Paul says this, Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise the words of the prophets, but test everything. Hold fast to what is good and abstain from every form of evil. May the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely. And may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless, blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. Hold fast to what is good. Don't forget that the Spirit of God is in the midst of everything. The Spirit of the Lord is upon us, each and all, every one of us. The one who calls you, Paul says. And we believe that the God who calls you to be fully alive in this time, that God is faithful. So here's the wild paradox of this letter and today's scripture passage and the season of Advent in our lives and this naming of joy in the midst of so much that is challenging. It makes me think of what author Glennon Doyle says. She says, life is hard. And we can do hard things. We can do this hard thing, this living into hope and mercy and justice and joy. We can do this hard thing because God is in it with us. And God shows, God shows up in ways subtle and in ways magnificent. Lisa Kirkland is one of the disciples who calls this church home. She's an alto in our choir. Dr. Kirkland is also a many times over honored physician who's an assistant professor of medicine at Mayo Clinic, adjunct assistant professor at University of Minnesota, and she's the chair of the Department of Critical Care at Abbott Northwestern in Minneapolis. She is an intensivist during an intense time. And oh, what I so value in Lisa is that she has a heart that beholds and shares encouragement. Every day, every day, Lisa told me that she goes into her ministry field, she encounters an astounding witness for hope. Recently, she shared with me a story about a Japanese-American Lutheran pastor 
who is in his residency as a chaplain at Abbott, Abbott Northwestern Hospital. Reverend Kaz Kazushito Tsukino was shaken by the ominous power of pastoring to COVID patients and to others in this pandemic time. He was feeling like he couldn't connect with people fully through the muffle of protective equipment that he wore into hospital rooms. So he prayed and he thought about how he could provide encouragement. So Reverend Sokino leaned into the wisdom and the witness of his particular culture. And what he did was determine that in the midst of all that he could not do, what he could do is bring into each room a witness for hope, a hand folded paper crane. So he began a practice of bringing a hand folded paper crane into each hospital room he entered. And through that tangible, visible sign of the Holy Spirit's presence, or depending on the faith tradition, whatever, the presence of a power greater than fear, he opened hearts and he touched souls. And he began to imagine that he could ask for 1,000 paper cranes, which is called a senbazaru. An ancient Japanese legend promises that such a witness will bring good luck or it can also bring recovery from injury or illness. So this wonderful chaplain made videos that he circulated to his friends and people throughout Japan. And he figured he might receive maybe 200 cranes in the mail. He was astounded because from across the world, people heard the call to share a witness of hope with the people of Minneapolis school groups and Buddhist monks and families and so many people responded and they sent those cranes to Minneapolis and there are now over 16,000 hand folded witnesses to the power of hope and faith and solidarity that spans any kind of barrier between us, including geography, right? Every day, Lisa, and others enter into the lobby of a healing sanctuary and every day healthcare providers and family members and people seeking healing and blessing see this visible prayer as it's represented in the moving through the air of the 16,000 paper cranes every day. In Lisa's words, Abbott Northwestern Hospital is my hospital. Those paper cranes are flying in my hospital lobby. I walk past them every workday. In the midst of all of this horror and grief, this happens, God works. God works every day. Believe it. In our pain, our blue, our beautiful, our hard, our messy, our ugly, our struggles and our joys. God is with us. God accompanying us. God alongside us. God amid us. God among us. God beside us. including us, God near us, God plus us, God upon us, 
God as companion to us, God side by side us, God in the thick of us, in the thick of our humanity, in the middle of this weary world, God is with us, in the gift and in the muck and mire of real life, we are called to be present, to be in the flesh with one another, accompanying others, alongside others, amid others, beside others, by others, for others, including others, near others, a companion to others, side by side with others, in the thick of others, God with us, us with others, God with the world in the thick of the beautiful and the messy. Amen.